Hi guys. Um, so I got a job. I don't know if I told you if I, uh, the hospital let me go the day that they released me to full duty. They all of a sudden, um, let me go on the last day. Uh, Anyways, it doesn't even matter. I, I'm pretty sure that it's illegal to do that. But, um, do I care? No, not particularly. Not really. I, uh, I typically, um, I felt good about that a person who was addicted to drugs and also, uh, had a, 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 a pretty broad past as far as criminal activity. Um, I thought, I felt good about myself that I was able to get in at that hospital. But, but, it's also a big trigger in the hospital because there's drugs everywhere. Uh, and, you know, they're not, they're not, not sloppy with it. They're sloppy with their drugs that they leave laying around. It's, it's a trigger. Um, also there's a lot of people there are, who, who are on drugs themselves. Uh, been asked to do some coke there. I've been asked to, if they could buy some, uh, it's just, you know. And, and the, the fact is that uh, it's going to be like that everywhere. So I came to realization of that shortly before they let me go, that uh, drugs are going to be everywhere. Drugs are going to be a trigger everywhere. So I need to, to stop being a baby, stop making excuses, and go to work. Bam! I was going to do that. <laughs> they let me go. Anyways, you have a new job. Uh, it's definitely um, not my cup of tea, but I will do my best to love it. I work for a meat packing place. Like, I'm a butcher, but not a butcher. It's It's after the fact, after it's already been killed and uh, it comes on the assembly line and <laughs> we assemble it. It's a, it's kind of like anybody knows Harry and David or, um, big packing houses, you know, production. Um, I am curious how I'm going to do with my shoulder because there is lifting. I got another shoulder though. <laughs> so that and um we have a they have hot things they do with hot stuff and then there's things that they do with cold stuff. Um with my hot flashes as bad as they are, I'm like, I can I request being on the cold side? Because I literally sweat my butt off and that's disgusting. It's disgusting. I'm disgusting. <laughs> so she said definitely uh, request that area. So I will. And if they don't let me, I won't say anything. I'll probably just tuck my tail under and go to the hot side. Until they see me sweating and they're going to say, what the fuck are you on, lady? And I'm just going to be like, on oh, no, my hormones. <laughs> so anyways, my daughter moved in. And my grandson, um, I love my grandson so much. I wish my granddaughter was closer. Um, my daughter's pregnant. She's about seven weeks and two days or something, something like that. It's weird how the days matter. At first I thought, why do you say it? To say six weeks and seven weeks and instead of six weeks, nine else or nine days or not nine days, seven days, six days. And then, um, they're like, because 
those days count. I guess they do. Every day counts. Now, if we can just use that in our life, then we would be golden. Uh, I'm trying to stay optimistic. Uh, my girlfriend is gone. She's been gone two weeks. Um, I miss her and I'm lonely. I'm hoping that having a job and not sitting in the house is going to help with that. Um, I have a really hard time making friends because uh, I am so quiet and I am so uh, antisocial. <laughs> not antisocial in a bad way, like, ugh, I don't like you. I'm very, very much a recluse and I stay to myself and I eat by myself. I usually I, like will distance myself from everybody on purpose. Um, I try to not be in a conversation of with a group of people. And I'm hoping this changes. This working with all of these people are, might help me or it's going to make me crazy one or the other. But, um, yeah. So I went to the doctor. I finally went to the doctor and I told her that I, firstly, I told them I need a long appointment with her because I'm going over all my stuff and they were supposed to give me a long appointment and they didn't, but, but she didn't rush me. She knew something was up and she didn't rush me. She was on it and that's the first time. I think she was surprised I didn't ask her for painkillers too, but she did ask me how I was recovering. And I said, like, I'm kicking recovery's ass all over the place. Yeah. Anyways, so, um, my doctor's appointment was very emotional. Um, I'm waiting to my insurance be to be, um, approved for an MRI of my brain. Um, MRI of my brain because um, I don't know if I've talked to you about this, but uh, I'm having troubles um, that all point to bad things. And usually we just roll them out and she sends me home because, you know, I freak out easy. Once I hear something might be something, then it turns into this ordeal because I have researched everything to the point where there's no researching it left. And so I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying not to, um, let it control my brain. <laughs> so, um, we're looking at, well, as what she said is we're going to rule this out and then move on. And so we're ruling out the possibilities of ALS, Parkinson's, or Alzheimer's. Um, oh, and there, there's a growth inside of my ankle. That's separate though. Uh, I'm really trying to um, not make this control my head. Uh, and it's driving me crazy because I have to wait for everything. I have to wait for authorization from the state because I have state care. And um, so I'm, I'm literally telling myself it's nothing. And part of me wants just to cancel all the appointments and not even think about it. Done. But I know my symptoms are real. The muscle twitching is so bad that I drop stuff all the time. Uh, the memory, it, my uh, memorizing stuff and whatnot is really bad. 
In fact, the kids get so pissed off because I forget everything. Even my grandson says, you can't remember nothing, Grandma. And I can't. <laughs> and I'm hoping, this is what I'm, I think is happening. My brain has been on drugs for more than 20, like, oh my God, 25 years of drug use. Um, of course, these things are going to be like this, Brandy. That's what I keep saying. Of course, you're going to be, you beat your body up, Brandy. And so, here it is. So there's nothing wrong with me. I don't have ALS. I don't have Alzheimer's. I don't have Parkinson's. I don't have AIDS. I don't have any of it. But my brain says otherwise. Because, well, when you, when you look it on paper, it looks like I have everything. <laughs> so, don't jump. Don't. I don't know. Like my videos. Nobody likes my videos. <laughs> Nobody even, like, watches my videos. But you know what? I like a few people watch them. A few people that count. All my people that are who read mine, they all count. All right, I'm going to go. And don't forget. I see you.